I'm Mima, and in light of the new World of Horror content coming out soon, I wanted to share some highlights from my recent live streams. This is a rare ward mystery that is specific to my favorite character, Mimi. Cheers. Roaring right up of a wardless ward. You got a call from your classmate's mother. With a teary voice, she told you your friend had a nasty accident and is currently awaiting an important surgery. They asked her to call you and ask to spend a few evenings with them. That's weird. You weren't exactly in the best relationship lately, but you agree to visit your friend starting tonight. Mmm. Five nights remaining. This is an interesting one. Your classmate is at the hospital awaiting surgery. Go and visit them tonight. Enter the hospital, access your storage, shop for items. Let's shop for items. Any fuel? Backpack? Ooh. That is good for us to have. So now I should be able to use... Wait, I'm so confused. Two additional... Oh, inventory slots. Not slots here. That's okay. I guess. Shop for items, rest. Let's rest one. It certainly feels good to be back at home. You bandage the fresh wounds. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Time flies by fast and you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Sick. Now let's actually visit them. You wait patiently in the reception area. Where could your classmate be? Enter doctor's office, move to corridor A. Let's move to corridor A. You enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. We can sneak past her, let her sleep, set trash can on fire, or need first aid. Let's sneak past her. Dexterity check success. You manage to sneak past her and rummage through the cabinet. Finally, you locate the information you were looking for. Ooh. Upper floor is eerily silent in comparison. The patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Take an elevator, check out patient room. Your friend is lying on the bed, still sleeping after the surgery. Their face is almost completely covered in bandages. How do I know it's my friend then? You sit on what must be the most uncomfortable chair in the world, thinking how pointless it is to wait here, having nothing else to do. You decide to go and buy something to drink from the vending machine. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determine the causes of death. Put the cloth, pull the cloth off the dissection table, search the cabinet, check out the freezer. Well, let's search the cabinet. Something flashes in the corner of a dusty drawer and you reach for it. It's a sewing kit, which may come in handy later. Yeah. Ooh, we could get three charisma with it though. Let's do it. Wait, three stamina minus one charisma. Let's not do it then. The next day passes without any incidents and before you know, another evening is coming. With an increasing reluctance, you head towards the hospital. And, oh, I'm sorry, have you seen the doctor? He suddenly disappeared and I'm not sure the surgery is over. Ooh, forgotten patient with the with their heart out. Damn. 19. Let's do six. We'll do the classic guarantee six and then probable four. Nice. Patients are getting restless. Let's take an elevator this time. You venture further down the corridor. A nurse walked past you in a hurry. Enter morgue. The morgue's door is closed. Well, let's visit our friend. Your friend woke up earlier today. You've spent some time talking about school and recent events, but still can't shake the feeling something about them seems off. Finally, they go to sleep. You decide to take a walk to stretch your legs. 
So it seems like the day ends when you talk to your friend. And we got a spider bite. The next day on your way home, you are stopped by your friend's mother. She hands you a package for her child. You promise to hand it over tonight. Okay. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Upper floor. Is it open now? Return to reception area. Should we ask about our friend? You don't like the nurse's weird smile. Patients waiting for a special surgery? Take an elevator in the corridor. Okay. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator doors open. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Take an elevator in the corridor, even though this is their room. Okay. You decide it's better not to mention the curious package. Your friend doesn't ask about it anyway. There's something in the look of their eyes that makes you think that they know. You're stopped by a masked man where- oh. No. You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. We are not getting our fucking ribs taken out. The next day passes without any incidents. Okay. Where do you- what happens if we enter the doctor's office? Oh, we can fix our infected wound. That's not too bad. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Let's assume the worst. Branded like cattle. And we visit our- well, let's check the morgue first. No. We'll check our friend then. Your friend just keeps staring at you. Did I tell you you're really beautiful? They ask, twisting their swollen lips in a smile. They want our body. Oh, don't go yet. Okay. Stable condition. Discard, nothing happens. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Let's take her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Aww. Okay, last night. Let's find our classmate. You blend in with the hospital staff and make your way into an unmarked ward where a particular patient catches your eye. They look to be catatonic, eyes glazed over, shallow breathing, but of most interest are the irregular, irregular growths along the abdomen. You wouldn't be much of a nurse if you ignored them, right? They need help. Well, let's inspect the patient. You eagerly pull on your spare pair of surgical gloves and probe at the growths, making mental notes about the texture and shape. When you're back home with your textbooks, you realize that it doesn't match any known diagnosis. Isn't that amazing? You need to do some more digging later. Good for her. No morgue. Final phase of my surgery is tomorrow. I just can't wait to show you the results. You can't help but shudder thinking about the final day. We're gonna have to kill our friend, aren't we? You're stopped by two nurses. Ready to apologize and explain yourself, you notice their weird smiles. Dead stares, sharp knives. Anomaly, in anomaly attendant and corpse caregiver, midnight shift. Damn, they really wanna kill me. 59%? So we'll start on B, because I'd rather not be attacked both times, each time. Nice. 
and now we're attacking A, which is going to be three each turn. So I have three turns. That's good luck. Nice. What did we get? Not enough room, item added to storage, steak knife. And we can level up while we're at it. I'll regain stamina and we have knowledge, charisma, luck. Our knowledge is good, our charisma is okay. Let's add luck. Oh, wait. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. I thought I did that. I don't know what just happened with the game. I'm putting this backpack away. I'm putting the chainsaw away. Let's take out the curious package so I can look at it. You shouldn't open it now. What could be inside? And actually, no, we'll... Yeah. I'm right. Let's do it. Finally, it's the last night you have to spend with them. Making it seem like such a chore. You, pa you wait patiently in the reception area. Suddenly, all lights in the hospital go out. With a bad feeling about this, you decide to check out your friend one last time and get the hell out of here. You're shocked to find an empty bed. The trail of blood on the floor leads to a bathroom. Ignoring the faint footsteps on the corridor, you take a step towards it. The footsteps are getting louder. Do you like what I did with my face? I've always admired you, you know, even when you acted like you don't know me at all. I think the result is perfect. Too perfect, in fact, for two people to share the same face. That's so funny. Because we went to med school together. And she likes my face. I wish I could take the mask off for a moment. I can't, but it is funny. Minus three to all, 27. This is too much. You close your eyes fighting the dizziness. Sure. Are there any story actions we can do? That's the only one. And then we'll hurt her right after. Oh, I didn't know that meant run, but... A smiling nurse wakes you up. This is your final day here, kid. Can't wait to finally get out, right? Panicking, you rush out of the hospital bed and rush to the mirror. You get out. You had a nasty accident a week ago. You did. The nurse continues, writing something on the discharge form. A minor concussion and a few nasty bruises, so we had to keep you here. At first glance, everything seems to be fine. Sure, your face is slightly, slightly swollen and blue, but that's to be expected. Did you really have an accident and simply don't remember it? You, yeah, that must be it. The weird friend must have been a nasty dream. But as the nurse's smile gets wider and wider, why won't your shoes fit you anymore? What? Surgery, who are you? Surgery, who am I? 